In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a DVD menu using Sony DVD Architect. DVD Architect is a program that is bundled together with Vegas Movie Studio. What you want to do first is go over here to File, click on New. What you're going to decide now in this new project window, whether or not you want a menu-based CD or a single movie, I'm going to click on Single Movie and choose OK. Now you want to navigate to the folder on your PC's hard drive where you have your media located that you want to import here into DVD Architect. So let's go do that now. Okay. Now this is going to be a widescreen presentation, so I want to make sure that the properties of this project meet the media that I've chosen. There we go. Now when I created this production in Vegas Movie Studio, I added chapter markers and this is something that I talk about in my course Vegas Movie Studio Basics. The chapter markers that you see located down here are going to be used as different chapters here in the DVD for this production. So all we have to do to create these chapters as menu items is highlight the media that we've chosen here, right click on it and choose Insert Scene Selection Menu. It's going to ask me how many links that I want to display on the page and since there's only eight chapters here I'm just going to say eight and up here I can change the title of my menu if I want I can call it something like DVD menu for chapters click OK and here we have that displayed right here in this area now in order to preview my menu all I'm going to have to do is highlight my DVD menu for chapters area here and I see it displayed here we click on the preview window and that's what viewers are going to see when they put the DVD in and it starts to play and displays the menu. We can close out the preview up here. Now if you look over in this area here it says audio and right now there's none. So what I can do is choose that and then I can replace the none with an audio file that I want to use to play while the menu is being displayed. So let me go navigate to that file right now. Here we're going to the WAV file, we're going to click open. And now when we play this, we're going to be able to hear the music. And so that's the music that's going to play when the menu comes up. Now what if you don't like this background here? Well, if you come down into this area here, you're going to see a number of backgrounds that you can insert in this area here to replace this one. Just double click on it and you'll see that you've got a number of different backgrounds that can be chosen. All here as part of the DVD Architect package. You can choose on any of these. And if you don't like any of these here, then what you can do is come up into this area here and choose a different background. All you have to do is open this up, choose Replace, and then navigate to a folder on your hard drive that contains a background that you want to use in place of this one. I'm going to cancel this out. But just so you know, the background could be a stationary image or it could also be a Motion Loops Live AVI. In other words, a piece of media that's moving while your menu is being displayed. Now one last thing that I'd like to do here for this DVD before I render it is put an FBI warning in the front. So let's come over here and choose DVD for menu chapters. We're going to click Insert and then we're going to say Media. Once again, we're going to choose the media that we want to include in this for this FBI warning and here it is. I'm going to click open. By default been placed on the bottom here. If we left it, what it would mean is that it's going to be displayed after all the menu items have gone through and played in the DVD. That's not what we want. What we want to do is take it and drag it on into this area up here above the folder that says DVD menu for chapters and drop it down. And there it is. Now what we want to do is right click on it. We don't see that star right there. We want to say set DVD start. So we want this to be the first thing that starts on our DVD. Then what we want to do is tell DVD Architect to make the menu items display after the FBI warning comes up. To do that we'll just come over here where it says end action. We're going to double click on that. Then we're going to choose as destination our DVD menu for chapters which is right here. Now when we preview this we should see our FBI warning displayed and then the menu comes up after it gets done being displayed. And there it is. 
So there we have it. You now have a DVD menu set up for the media that you've created to play on a DVD in a standard DVD player. And all you have to do now to create that DVD is come up here and click Make DVD. And DVD Architect will create it for you.